Good morning class. Welcome back to our next lesson. As we already started with uh, building materials, we talked about building materials, we spoke about the types of building materials, and we also spoke about cement and how cement is manufactured. Good. Today we are still going to continue with our binding materials because we already treated cement. So we are going to treat the two other binding materials today, which is lime and clay. Good. So first we are going to take the lime. Now when we talk about lime, lime is produced by burning limestone. You burn, when you burn limestone, you obtain lime. So after burning the limestone, a white lumpy material, a white lumpy material called quick lime is obtained. Good. Now the lime is also a binding material, just like the cement and the clay. I told you we have three types of binding materials. We have the clay, the cement, and, and, and the lime. So, lime. Now, uses of lime. Lime is also used for mortar. Mortar for walling. So, you can use only lime in, in place of cement to make your mortar. Good. You can also use lime in place of cement to make your mortar and use it for plastering. You can mix lime with cement. In order to make a mortar. Now, when we talk about there are some mortars that have two or more binding materials in them. Those type of mortars we call them compo mortar. Compo mortar. So when we are treating mortar, we will deal with that one. Okay. So, but when lime is mixed with clay, a cement to form a mortar, it looks more plastic, and because of that, it is able to spread well. So when you mix lime with cement to form mortar. It looks more plastic and it's able to spread well. Good. So now we move on to clay. Now clay is something that we know. In science, we learn that we get clay from waterlogged areas. So we say clay is a natural building material which is cheap and readily available. It is cheap and readily available. We don't even buy them. We get them from waterlogged areas. Good. Uses of clay. I know that clay is also another type of binding material. I told you we have only three types of binding material, which is clay, limestone, and cement. Uh, sorry, clay, lime, and cement. Good. So now the uses of cement, uh, clay for molding bricks and blocks. Clay is used for molding bricks and blocks. It is used for manufacturing bent roofing sheets. It is used for manufacturing bent roofing sheets. It is also used for making plastering and walling. It is used in mortar to make plastering and walling. Good. That will be all for today. We shall meet again another time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.